Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Grammarly to WPS in 2023. So make sure to join us as we uncover the steps to seamlessly integrate Grammarly writing assistance into your WPS office, ensuring top notch pro reading of course and refining your documents effortlessly. So stay tuned to elevate your writing game within WPS with Grammarly support. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm going to use like the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the tutorial section and type Grammarly. So go to Grammarly.com. And of course, you'll have to go and log into your account or create your account. So for you will not find this page, I'll just open Ecognito for you so you can see how it's going to look like for you for the first time. As you can see, it will look for something like this. So you can go to the top right corner in here, an example, to log into your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, of course, you can click here and sign up for free uh, with just Google. Or if you click here on free, as you can see, you'll be able to sign up with Google, Facebook, or Apple, depending on whatever you have. Other than that, of course, so I go like out. Of course, this will show you even, even how to use like an AI generative tool that they have in Grammarly. If you keep scrolling, this is the AI that I told you about where uh, works where you do. So get suggestions from Grammarly while you write in desktop applications and sites across the web as you move between apps, social media, documents, messages, and emails. So emails and messages will work with Gmail, Slack, Outlook, uh, Apple Mail, Google Do for documents and projects, Google Docs, Microsoft Word, Salesforce, Notion, and for social media, LinkedIn, Discord, Facebook, and X. That does not mean it will work just on those options. It will work even in every other like app if that you have in your PC. If you download it, or if you have it as an extension, it will work on whatever browser you have it as an extension. Here, a brief video on how it's working. You can always pause it to read out whatever it is. So it's a small, like, I don't know, 20 seconds video. So just go uh, make sure to see uh, to see it all if you have no idea about it. So of course, you can simply go and click on s s sign up for free. Or if you have an account, just go log into that. Once you do so, you'll find yourself on a page like this. If you go through the installation phase, uh, that will be cool. If you didn't, if you skip it, you can simply go to the left panel and click in here on apps. Once you do so, you'll find yourself in here. So Grammarly for Windows, you can install it. You can install it as an extension on your Chrome browser or whatever other browser. Like for me, Brave, it will work. Also, if you click in here uh, for iPhone, iPad, for Android. So an example, if you want to... If you are going to use WPS on your browser, just go and click on reinstall or for you will find it install. Just go and download it as an extension and you will find it here on your extensions at the top right corner. You can validate or change those settings however you want. Make sure to select whatever English you're going to write with, Indian, Canadian, Australian. Of course, this will select or uh, try to understand and the tune that you're working with and try to give you suggestions depending on that. Of course, especially if you have uh, the premium app or the premium like uh, plan. So other than that, if you want to download, just click on here on install and it will install into your PC. Just install it or download it, then install it and it will have, or you will have it on your PC as an app. So I'll just wait for the app until it's open as an example. Of course, from there, you'll be able again to uh, like change the settings. So if you click here, you'll be able to change the settings however you want. You'll be able to do whatever you want with it. Even if you click on new documents, as example, this will open like the new documents in Google Chrome. You can simply just go and do that uh, by your own. And you can type in there, uh, select everything, change everything that you want, and you can paste it on whatever WPS uh, or, uh, app office that you're going to use this on. So now we got to use this on WPS. First, if you have it on your PC, just go and open it up. If you don't, you can simply just go and download this. Of course, if you have WPS on your phone, it will work the same. If you have it like in here on like uh, if you download it through Android, so it's going to be very easy. So if you go here and type WPS like download, hit that and simply you can go through the official link, which is like WPS.com or even downloads uh, slash download. It's the same. So you can simply just go and download that. Of course, if you have it, you can download it on your uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, whatever you want. Click on download. Of course, once it downloaded, you will find like you had that you will have all the apps of WPS. For me, I'm not going to download it to show you how it's work on in there. 
but of course uh, if you have it just go and start using it but of course make sure that you have the app not the extension of course you'll find this always working even if like as an example if you close this and click on x you'll find this always working in background unless you quit it forever and of course and from there so for me as an example i'll just go and go to settings as an example here you can use this generative ai for grammarly this is very good especially if you want to uh, if you want grammarly to write everything for your own so click here on my grammarly and example i'll just go and open a new documents as an example so i'll just go here and click on you and i'll just use the generative ai and i'll just type here write me a message to a friend to call him as an example to call him for a saturday night saturday night party so hit the enter button and as you can see uh, this generative ai of grammarly will write all the message for you you basically have to click on uh, you will have to simply copy it or you can insert it wherever you are so you can take that and insert it on your wps apps if you have them so just go and open that and paste it wherever you want of course this will not work just on wps it will work wherever you want as an example let's say and open whatever app i have uh, on my pc so i don't know let's open word as an example so here i'll just go to a blank document i'll just type don't okay like word already the correct everything for me so uh, don't that crazy so i'll have to type like crazy like this uh, and i guess that's it so this will calculate how many errors you have just simply click, go and click on that and keep accepting the errors that you have and as you can see everything will be corrected by its own you basically don't have to do nothing so for me i'll just go and close this close this don't save of course this will work on as i said w uh, ps office like apps or any uh, app that you want of course so it's very easy to use you can use it on the browser you can use it on the apps if you have it the app downloaded and you will be basically good to go of course as i said you can always save here some uh, documents if you want to on grammarly you can always go back to you can use this ai generative tool you can even give it a voice if you want to so you can add your voice in here as example so and even use it if you want to have it as a voice and i guess that's it you can even adjust some goals and of course you can even go and check for the plans that they have because the better plans will give you better features you can go and read that all by your own and those are going to be the prices of course for the business you will have to pay 15 dollars. so that's gonna be it for our video today if you like this make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorial like this one and i will see you in the next video